Tess. Tess, do you need me? Nash! Tess? Is that you? Yes, it is me, and I want her the hell out of here. No, 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 Tess, it's all right, honey. It's, it's me. It's Mom. Nikki's gone. Yeah, like you tell the truth. It is the truth, and we're here to help. Help me what, disappear? Because let's face it, this isn't exactly a meeting of the Tess fan club. Tess? Yeah, you can barely stand to call me that. Listen, you want to help? If anybody can help me, it's Nash. So where is he? What did they do with him? We didn't do anything. He went back to California. Yeah, he wouldn't do that. Not without no me. problems. Oh, there's a problem here right now, so I'm out of here. Tess, sit down. I don't think so, buddy. You see, I'm holding all the cards here. So either you get Nash on the phone, or this conversation's over. Actually, honey, you're wrong. You're not holding all the cards. You threatening me? No, I'm being honest. Jessica agreed to let you out so that we could talk to you. Jessica decided this. Jessica's an idiot. Now, attacking Jessica's not going to help anything. Well, Jessica has you all snowed. Why? Why would she do that? Well, <laughs> do you really think that she let me out in the interests of medical science? She let me out for her own selfish reasons. And what selfish reasons would those be? And what selfish reasons would those be? Because... She wants to get to the bottom of our deep, dark secret. I think that's a very good idea. You almost sounded like you meant that. I do, if it will help Jessica. Well, Jessica is not the only one that has stake in this. I know from experience that what is good for Jessica is good for you. Well, Jessica doesn't know the secret. I'm the only one that knows it, so I guess I'm holding all the cards here, guys. Well, what about Nikki? She knows. Well, what about Nikki? According to you, Nikki's not around. But I'm not so sure of that. You don't want to risk letting anything out, do you? Jessica knows there's a secret. She just doesn't know what it is. Well, you know, cart before the horse here, guys. I haven't discussed my terms yet. Terms? Yes, terms. You see, I'm not going to stroll down memory lane until I get to speak to Nash. Well, actually, your mother... She's not my mother. Mrs. Davidson is correct. You're not in control here, and you can't make demands. Oh, I'm not demanding anything. I'm just telling you the truth. Unless I get to speak to Nash, I'm not going to say a word. And you know I got the willpower to back it up, so. She's right. She doesn't have to talk if she doesn't want to. Am I supposed to be grateful now? No. No, I just thought that if you want to talk to Nash, you should be able to. Oh, well, thank you, Antonio. Thank you very much. I'm a real person, aren't I? I also think you need to agree that once you speak to Nash, you have to cooperate with the doctor. You mean spill my beans? Talk to him about your childhood. Well, that happened at a very early age. You know, Tess, I know you like to joke around, but uh, this is serious to us, and I'm not going to allow you to keep playing us. Sooner or later, you're going to live up to your end of the bargain. Fine. You know the number to the winery? Well, yes, I do, Antonio. It is my house. It's 916-555-0139. And um, please be sure to dial one before you place your call. Jess? Is it you? No, Ash, it's me, Antonio. What is it? Is it the baby? No, the uh, Jess and the baby are fine. Um, the reason I'm calling... Yeah? Well, I'm here with... Uh, with Dr. Fox. Jessica has agreed to let Dr. Fox hypnotize her to help bring Tess back up. Well, did it work? Is Tess there? Yes. Yes, she's here and she wants to talk to you. Put her on. Nash, hey, are you there? Is that really you? Yeah. Yeah, it's me. I miss you, baby. It is so good to hear your voice. Baby, I miss you too. I miss you so much that it hurts. You went back to California? How could you leave me? I don't know that this was such a good idea. You're the one that keeps reminding me that Tess is a part of Jessica. I guess that means we have to start listening to her. There was a fire? Nobody told me that. Well, it's, it, the caretaker made it sound like a much bigger deal than it was. It's the only reason I left Landview. Well, how bad was it? Well, it's the, um, the destemmer, but it, it's, it's nothing near what I, what I imagined it to be when I was flying over here. It's all under control. Is the cottage OK? It's fine. It's fine. It's, uh... <laughs> it's a little cold. I, I, I had to light a fire last night. 
Oh, I wish I was sitting there by the fire with you. Yeah, me too. Hey, and you will be. I promise. How are you? How's, how's, uh, how's the baby? Fine, I guess. Antonio's there, isn't he? He's listening in. Yeah, Antonio's always here. But I belong to you, baby. Only you. Body and soul. So have you been out to the bar? Are people asking about me? Antonio, this can't be easy for you. She's got a whole other life out there. With him. So when are you coming back? I'm catching the next flight out. You're a pig. I didn't even get to say goodbye. I kept my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. Tell us about Jessica when she was a child. Well, it didn't happen to Jessica. It happened to me. She bailed and let me handle the situation. And if she knew what really happened, she'd take a hike permanently. Oh, is that what you're worried about? Yes, of course she is. The whole purpose of an altar is to protect the host. You're buying into that? Oh, up to a point, absolutely. The problem is that frequently the altar does things that are not in the best interests of the host personality. Oh, well, you can trust me. Jessica doesn't want to know what I know. It's not what Jesse says. Well, it'll push her right over the edge. Look, what happened to her, whatever I did, it happened when Jessica was a little girl. She's an adult now. And she'll never be integrated unless she finds out what happened. Mm. It's what she's afraid of. Like... Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Two, four, six, eight. I don't want to integrate. Tess, you're not going to disappear. No, I won't disappear, but I'll end up with him. And you know what? That's worse. So I'm not going to help you. I am not going to lose my identity. And I sure as hell am not going to lose Nash. <laughs> Hello, Nash. Long time no see. You found me. Just like I said I would. Look, sir, I was just I about... like that. Sir, a little respect or maybe fear. I was just about to go to the airport. Actually, you're not. Nice of you to ask about Claudia. It felt a little uh, uh, hypocritical to inquire after the health of someone you drove to a breakdown. I never meant to hurt her. Oh, I see. You decided to scam my daughter, seduce my daughter, to betray my daughter, but you never meant to hurt her. I was a very different person back then. A stupid person? Do you know how I made all the money you wanted so much? Corporate takeovers. Here's what I learned. Before you decide to take something that belongs to someone else, you have to assess what they will do when you take it. Uh -huh. Will they slink away with their tail between their legs, or, or will they, they seek, let's call it, retribution? And if they seek retribution, how successful will they be? Just how much can they hurt you? Mr. Rust. You didn't do your homework. You didn't leave yourself a proper exit strategy. As a result, your first casualty was the, the loss of your destemming machine. You burned my destemmer. <laughs> you know, I couldn't, I couldn't help but to notice that the one you chose, the model you chose, was just like the one I had in my vineyard. Did you Reston. buy it? Did you buy it with the money that you stole from my daughter? <laughs> Mr. Reston, there is somebody who really needs me right now. You know, w women do like they need puff addicts. You know what I really hate about you? My, my questions are not rhetorical. Why do I hate you? Get to your daughter! That's a partial answer. You know, you have somebody that is so much better than you. You inflicted pain on somebody that you, you can't even feel yourself. You can't know what you did to Claudia so because she don't have one. She loved you. 
and you're incapable of love. How's your arm feel, right? <laughs> it hurts. Yeah, well, we've only just begun. So, when you feel that the pain is unbearable, right. you realize you're only... That's what you do to Claudia's soul. Bring it on. I know more about you than you want me to know. Well, what I know about you is you want me gone. No, that's not true. I don't want you gone. But I don't want you in control. Not your call. I have alter personalities. And the fact is that there are things that they know and things that they can do, but the fact is they cannot handle the whole picture. That's not true. Well, it is. And my alters are proof. I don't want you gone in the same way I don't want Nikki gone because she's a part of me. But I also don't want her in control because when she is in control, she does not allow me to exist. Jessica didn't save my life. I saved hers. Don't you think I know that? Don't you know that I thank God that you were there to save her? <laughs> you don't mean that. You know, I've been thinking. When Jesse was about four years old, I walked into this library and Jessica was walking up and down on the sofa in her shoes. And I said to her, she had to stop that and get down. And she looked at me and stuck her little chin out, and she said, sofas are not as important as little girls. That was you, wasn't it? You had a lot of rules. And you taught me what matters and what's not important. You are my daughter, and I love you. And I love you because you're funny, Mostly, I love you because you bore the pain that Jessica couldn't handle. The thing is, that pain is still with you. And now it's time for it to go away. Not you, the pain. Okay, that's enough. Stop talking. You think that talking about it is going to make it more real, but in fact, talking about it is what will make it start to go away. Tess. Is that my name? Please tell me what happened. You know what, Mommy? Maybe I'll just do that. All right, Tess. I want you to just close your eyes. Now, just remember, you're a little girl, and the woman you know is Nikki Smith, the woman who looks like your mother, but has absolutely nothing to do with her has forced you to go to this bar with her. Now tell me you recall this. Sure. Okay. Where were you? I was sitting in the corner by myself. And where's the key? She's dancing with some loser. And what are you doing? I'm trying to make bunny rabbit ears out of swizzle sticks, but people keep on bothering me. What were they doing that was bothering you? They were asking what a little kid is doing in a bar. What'd you tell them? You know what? I changed my mind. I don't want to do this. Sorry. No, Tess, Tess, it's OK. You're safe here. If you're implying that you think I'm scared, I'm not, no, OK? of course you're not. Look, just what's stopping you from telling me what you remember? Because I don't have anything more to say. She's playing this. Maybe we should just bring Jess back. What, you gonna put me back in my room, big boy? You know what? I want to talk to Jessica right now. Well, people in hell want ice water. Forget it. I'm not going anywhere. 